to the sound quality when that happens. Can you guys say something? Yep, something, something, something. Okay, something, 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 great. Something. Thank you for being so incredibly literal, as always. <laughs> All right. Um, so, so, Goliath at Hydra. Hold on, I'm not streaming yet. I'm just recording. Hold on. <laughs> God, Bill! <laughs> okay. We're going to start in three, two, one. You can you can go now. Nope, nobody started. You can go. <laughs> okay, so, hey guys, this is Grush. Uh, this is Maria, and this is Dan M. 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 If you can't understand the southern drawl, that was the letter M. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. She's calling me a hick. <laughs> um, you guys might also know me as Grump. We might, but we might not. Nobody knows yeah. who that is. Nobody. I mean, nobody. Uh, let me talk. <laughs> we got uh, Goliath at Hydra tonight. Uh, not tonight. This afternoon. That's Today, weird. yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> Goliaths have a uh, pretty, pretty solid lineup here. They've got Eurox, Sabian, Tercy, Zudum, basically their A-team against Hydra's A-team in Sagramore, Leirolat, Rave, and Satalis. So both teams bring in their A-game. Both teams bring in the... Warlocks gonna be a lock off. cluster. It's gonna be popping and locking. Um, oh my god! So, <laughs> both teams have a warlock and an invoker, which is gonna be interesting since they're both gonna be breaking each other's groups up constantly. And then uh, we have uh, healer and scald for Goliath, and then we have healer and assassin for Hydra to round out the rosters. So the Flash is going to be really helpful in preventing Goliath from regrouping. Mm -hmm. But Goliath, in turn, has a lot more staying power if they can be grouped and Sabian is allowed to use his mana efficiently. So Dan and I were chatting a little bit before he, you graced us with your presence um, that I find Hydra quite exciting, like more so than I think thought which I don't like I don't mean that in a way that I didn't think they were going to be good and and Dan was expressing his opinions that are similar so if we want to kind of rehash that conversation Dan what were what were your insights on the Hydra formation oh my god I have completely lost my train of thought on that at this point um, okay sorry we, we don't have to go well, there <laughs> uh, we, were, we were talking a little bit about um uh Perrin's kind of uh uh, management style, like he's kind of displayed, you know, he kind of uh, came, he basically came up kind of under Alan a little bit, you right. know, so he's he's extremely learned at the game, but uh, I think he's going to let his guys play, and he's, uh, but he's going to be there effectively in every aspect that they need, you know, whether it's with coaching or with gear or, or right. what have you, so mm -hmm. I think he's assembled a really, really good team, and um, he's kind of... Uh, uh, I think we were, we were using the kind of micromanagement, uh, maybe kind of loosely as a term. But, right, uh, but like in a good way, not in the... In a good way, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think he's going to be, I think he's going to be Johnny on the spot when it comes to uh, what he thinks people should be doing at any given time. Yeah, I think it's a, I think it's a good, well, I mean, I don't know the inner workings of Hydra and obviously it's like week two, but they seem like they're going to gel really well. I, I think, as, as I understood it, most of the people who are on that team have played a lot together already. Okay. So mm -hmm. um, I, I think it's a, a, a team that's very familiar with each other's play styles, even though they're all playing relatively new alts for, mm -hmm. for that team. Cool. So that's, that's, that's kind of cool. That's, uh, I, I like the gamesmanship of having uh, a whole, basically an entirely fresh new team is really neat. I like, I like seeing that in the game. <laughs> all right so we're at one minute or a little less than one minute um strategies that you guys think each team are going to be taking in so here's the interesting thing about these lineups um in addition to the um the normal issue that hydra has in terms of having less staying power just because they're relying entirely on Sagarmore for their healing, as opposed to a lot of teams which have some kind of clerical and a bard to kind of double dip on AoE healing. Um, Hydra has been really good about cycling their 
invoker and uh, rave and being able to um, cycle your characters, basically getting good death times to come back in fresh and beat up on the opponent. All right. But where they're going to struggle a little bit here, potentially, is that they really don't have a great way to deal with Zudum. Okay, well, the match like, is going, it, so let's get right on in there and start talking about what's happening on the um, field. I think it's one thing we're going to see in this match also, just to, just mm-hmm. to add on to that, is um, I'm actually surprised that we're already seeing cones. Yeah. Um, if they're really on top with uh, group breakers, that's going to be a huge problem for any team that's you know not managing to capitalize on that. Right. Um, because yeah. it can be very quickly a uh, liability as much as a as an A. Ray so takes the holy smile. Yeah, I think we're going to, which is great, because that's going to save them a lot. So I think we're going to see a lot of direct damage, acid blasts, uh, things like that, would probably be the go-to. And Lay says, if you holy smite me, I'll energy drain you. So Tursis has a lot less mana now. Sag takes a slow. Air Elemental disarms Sabian. So we got a lot of stuff flying around here. Sabian does rewield. But I think Hydra's going to have a problem dealing with an AMS to Zudum. Like, he can just stall basically forever. Um, and of course, not Doris, really, I have, have to have a hard time beating through that. Yeah. One thing about those uh, large race with built-in abilities, too, is that, if nothing else, they've still got Gore or Hoof or whatever they yeah. need to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even if they're stuck in combat, they're not completely disarmed ever. Um. So, um, Lara has thrown out Acid Blast, um, but he's still Holy Smited, and yet doing a lot of damage to yeah. Iraq. High he, must have, uh, he must have dispelled protection him. Mm-hmm. I would suspect so. There's also a possibility that he could have protected wrong, but I doubt that. I don't know why you wouldn't protect against uh, the pixie. Oh, you know, it's also possible that he's hitting mirror images or something. Ah, ah, true. And that would explain the high damage. Mm -hmm. So, um, Sabian overpowers a choke attempt. Satalis is doing good damage to Sabian, though. Maccus feels betrayed, Dan. <laughs> well, what goes around comes around, I guess. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> he's, uh, he's giving me a he's giving me a rationing group right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was a lot of abilities all at once. So Talos takes a smite blind. Um, Zudum Gore's rave. Brave group breaks. Goliaths again. And Erock takes it a spell, but not much done as a follow up to capitalize on it. Yeah. Jersey is on an elemental spamming smite. Um, so he is really not accomplishing anything right this second. He does realize and flee off of him. Eric is down in the red. He uh, takes another spell. So showing a little bit of weakness in his saves, perhaps. Yeah, I think he's a good target as well for them as well. I think you really want to get that group breaker off the field. Yeah. Yeah. If you can, if you can get the disruption off the field, your team gets a lot stronger. But that's, that's gross. So, like, as I understood it, primary targets are usually the ones that can do the most damage, but now it's kind of shifting over to the ones that can screw up strategies the most with the with the group breakers. Is that correct? Um, it, it depends. Um, kind of a case by a lot case. Of times, a lot of times you want to focus the DPS, but it also depends on where your damage is coming from. Um, so if, you, if your opponent's team is relying only on like a dual wielding hitter to do their damage then dogpiling that dual wielding hitter can sometimes put them on the back foot and make them do less damage by making them play more defensively um, 
but sometimes you have a high priority target that's squishy that you want to take off the field. E drain onto Sabian from Layrelat, pretty good. That's a good one. And so that can be, um, you know, if somebody's a little squishier, sometimes they're just a more inviting target because you can deal with them them more quickly and take them off the field faster. Do you concur, Dan? Uh, yeah, I think the priorities of, of targets will shift depending on on what your other mitigating factors are. You know, if you can if you can mitigate somebody, then you can shift their focus onto somebody who uh, is also a threat. But you know, it's kind of a how, how do I put this? You know, you have you your if you want to rank everybody from one to four on who the most dangerous person is on the field, if you can change that top spot to a number two spot, then you, you know, just by casting a spell or using a rake or something like that, mm-hmm. and then, you know, give them the runaround while you're focusing on a, a, a another more vulnerable target, then you can certainly do that. So, you know, situational awareness is, is pretty important, I think, in there. Yeah. Um, and important to note, Tersnius did lay uh, Iraq and... Leverlat has just AMS'd. And Zudum goes down to choke. It's uh, uh, amazing to me how, how critical in ACFL how a large race choker is. Right. It's just that it really, really... Turn the tide. Where you're almost wasting your time, I feel like. Where I think where they shine is in controlling the field once you have an advantage. They're a lot less useful if you're not able to win the straight up fight. Mm-hmm. But if you can win the fight and put uh, and gain field control to where the opponent has to kind of walk into you because you're carrying the flag or because they're coming in from the prep room after a respawn. That's when the choking can really just, like, take control of the game completely. I agree. In this stage of the game, it's it's definitely useful to be able to put people down, um, especially invokers that want to be, like, running around away from their group. They're a little more isolated, and they're more ripe to be choked. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think also with these with these group comps, it's going to be interesting to see, especially when you've got uh, um, two group breakers versus one another, um, whether or not the invokers want to be kind of outside of group, and uh, well, not necessarily outside of group, but outside the room, and then kind of hunting uh, when people go to retreat and whatnot. And E Rock is wimpying again already. Uh, Rave is also wimpying, however. Yeah. Could very well easily go down relatively the same amount of time. But you rock had a way, so mm-hmm. that does like you can't see how much more damage yeah. the other team is taking. Indeed. There it's now down in the red. Ray is really making good use of his pixie spell damage by just using single target focus to really blast one specific person that they want to get off the field without being mana inefficient and without um, risking coning his teammates. Right, Just something he did a fair bit in uh, in our match against them. Mm-hmm. He's in with Stan Gordons. And this is a good example, um, like you said, of the Invoker kind of floating around doing their own thing. He's AMS'd, and this is where Invokers can be really scary when the pressure is off of them and they can be AMS'd and just like run around the map chaining individual people that are wimpying where you're taking big damage and you're like, let's go down. Yep. They run out a lot of damage when they get to like just walk up, chain you, you take half the chain and then wimpy and you do no damage in return. Yeah. It's really frightening. Uh, Rave takes a smite blind now. Smite blind's incredibly frustrating to deal with. I agree. Uh, for those that don't know, it's not a super uh, reliable skill blind, but it does blind you for several ticks. 
mm-hmm. and it's not curable. It's just a field blind, and you're just stuck, unable to see. Really? Is that what blind is? It's so weird. <laughs> you horrible person. <laughs> so I can more think the skill blind, or us might blind that. It does do a, a cut eyes effect, so it's a little bit different. Than- and Satalis takes a rake. <laughs> Everybody's blind. Everybody is blind for several ticks now. Uh, and yeah. is like, all right, well, if everybody is blind, I'm just going to pick up the flag. Yeah. Um, and this may be that he's out of mana and is trying to force them to kill him. Or he might just be making the estimation that he's in a position where they can't stop him. But, you know, they're going to be in a trouble if Zudum picks up the flag as well. You know, Zudum and Lei are stuck there in both the AMS hitting each other. Zudum has Gore. Right. Lei takes a smite blind now. And there we go. Zudum does pick up the flag. Like, this is the situation I was talking about where it's going to be really awkward for Hydra to deal with Zudum having the flag. They need to get a rescue on Lariat or they're probably going to go down. That's a lot of damage coming out. I, said, I think he might have wanted to die. Uh, yes. Yeah. Refresh his mana. It's, it's the right time. Those Yin Paladins do dish out damage. That's uh, some impressive rounds from them. Mm-hmm. But this is, like, this is... It's a, it's a good time for Lei to die, but, you know, like I said, this is going to be really awkward. It's going to be... A big test for Hydra to see how they're able to deal with Zudum. I'm actually surprised that Zudum didn't just run over and cap right now, to be honest with you. Well, he's got the flag already. Oh, does he? I yes. missed the pickup. Uh, he does. He did yeah. pick up the flag while uh, Lei was running. Yeah. That's uh, wise. Definitely so. And Sabian dishing some damage out to Satalis. Uh, Rave's still throwing out breakers. Mm-hmm. Never really not group breaking. What was that? Really, done? really resilient in there. Talos puts Sabian down. It might give him an opening to jump on Zudum. <sighs> Just running around now. <laughs> Right. And there's a cap from uh, Goliath. Mm-hmm. Hydra not able to interrupt Zudum or counter cap. I am. Several more hmm? I was just going to say, I am monitoring the Twitch chat if anybody wanted to chime in with questions or comments. I can. Attempts to monitor the Twitch I, chat if I got it. actually work. I can do it. I'm on it. You guys do the thing, talk about gonna, the thing, I'll do this thing over here. I think uh, Zudum is going to try to force them to kill him, or uh, if he can get another person to go down right at this point, it would be a wonderful way to uh, stagger out the kills, because they're going to have Larry out here momentarily, I think. So Talos has been doing a good job focusing Sabian with his chokes, uh, keeping the bard down since the bard is who can wake up other people. But that one was, that choke was close to the tick, so he didn't really stay down for long. Didn't accomplish a lot. And Yurok is back out. Zudum picks up the flag. That noise. It's definitely going to be, you know, it's going to continue to be Zudum basically just running the flag unopposed. I'm kind of surprised that Sagramore didn't go to... Okay, Satalis gets a disarm on Zudum. That's going to let him get extra damage. What were you saying, Dan? You are surprised that Sagramore didn't do what? I I was surprised they didn't go and and try to do more to interrupt the flag cap. Yeah. Like they were just kind of standing around, not really doing a lot. Maybe they were group healing, but um, um, and it may also just be uh, got some dots in there. Inexperience with ACFL showing. It, uh, it takes time for a lot of players that are not, you know, have not been in ACFL for a while to keep track of the flag 
as much. Like, even if you're good with all the clan fighting, you've done clan wars for years, learning to pay attention to the flag is one of the hardest things in ACFL. Indeed. There's some on-point uh, rescues happening from churches right now. They're mm-hmm. not going to let... Yeah, down with no... no, no, no well, I guess you have some talent. I'm going to say no skill fly. There we go. Tag low, counter cap. So... I think that uh, Hydra is in a pretty good spot right now. They've got a, a Sacred Ball with a lot of hit points. Zudum is hurt. Terceus is hurt. Lariat fresh and coming out. Yep, there's yeah. Lariat. Uh, but he immediately changed his teammate and does candy cane damage to him. That was a big, big error. Sacred Ball takes it a spell. Ouch. And now he's not flying, so he's getting tripped. He's getting stake stunned. Oh, boy. Poor guy. That. He's really getting laid into here. And this is Taking it bad, the bad news for Hydra. That was a big play mistake. If he goes down, uh, it's an easy cap for Zudum. Yeah. And then they don't have anybody to counter cap anymore. Mm-hmm. To regroup. And Goliath will be able to just walk over another flag via rescue. Hmm. Zudum is holding the zone against Katala still. Going for the Gores. They must be out of Sag appears to not have flying potions, or he's just getting tripped all day long. All right, one of his teammates does make him fly, though. So good awareness on the part of his teammates, at least, to take care of that. Is, I wonder, was there a, a blind landed on, or a smite blind landed on Lyria? Um, I don't really believe so. They don't seem to be focusing on... Zudum, uh, does Zudum still have AMS then? Uh, Zudum does not appear to be AMS based on the damage that he's taking right now. Okay. He appears to be sad. So... I would think that that would be the target that Lariat would be wanting to hit on right now. Oh. They need Zudum to go down or Sagamore is going to go down fast. Yeah, I don't know. It, I guess it depends on how uh, Sagamore is looking because if you kill Zudum too early and then you're not able to move Sagamore across the field, yeah. then you risk Zudum coming back in fresh before you've actually accomplished anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So there is a bit of a balancing act. Making with the chains again, there it must have AMS up. Uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, Sag summoning a bear so he can rescue himself, do a little tanking. I think they're relatively low damage cone. They must have gotten smited again, holy smited again. Um, no, he's doing good damage to. Uh, There's a cone of fires, are doing a little more. Well, Tosis has uh, dragon skins, uh, ah. fire skins, so those low hits are the dragon skin procs. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. Uh, Lay is laying into Iraq with the chains. It, it still just is surprising me that they're not just going and trying directly to kill um, Zudum. Uh, I guess they're really focusing on trying to protect Sagamore at the moment. But uh, Do you think that's the right call? It's really difficult to say. I mean, it seems like a lot of times you get into a situation with your healer is carrying the flag, and it could be very low on hit points. Mm-hmm. And uh, they're trying to get the other team into a spot where they have to withdraw, and then they can go in with their big damage dealer. Um Rav is out, though, so that, that might Sabian be... Sabian did go down, yeah. but Sagamore, it was an off toast, so Sagamore is not long for this world either. Yeah, so... It, um, it definitely do or die moment. Lay, Lay is going to have to kill Zudum. Yeah. And here we go. He realizes the situation and that Zudum is not a mess. And Zudum... And he goes is... down. Okay. Oh. Sagamore right. takes another dispel, though. Wow, that's brutal. 
and they were not quite to the goal line yet. So they still could go down without getting a cap. Uh, but they do have Charmies that can rescue. If they can manage to get a rescue and get him moved off the goal line, it's only one room. No, he goes down. He goes down. Oh, this is going to be a long match. Great. <laughs> I think that uh, I think that Hydra still has the advantage at the moment. If they wanted to go for another cap, the other team is still very hurt. I think Rav is about to cap. Uh, he just yeah. summoned a Raven so he can rescue himself. Okay. Yeah, you see him moving into the uh, flag room. Lyria could try to do some interrupting ears. Um, Skitalis would also be good. For, well, Skitalis are all on the same team, so I think that uh, I think Hydra's in a pretty strong. Um, Goliath is trying to flip the cap just to force nets, and Hydra is trying to interrupt them. Rab does, yeah. Rab does manage to pick the flag up. And he's going to do his damnedest to run it across. But I have a feeling, you know, Alice is going to force them to force Hydra to kill them in order to make this flag move happen. And I don't know that they can get enough flag to cross before, uh, before Goliath get back on the field. Tercy's going for the counter cap. Yeah. I'm just going to have to interrupt here. Yeah, Larry has gone on the way there. He's going for it. There we go. go. He gets in there just in time. Good awareness from Lay. And I like this. He's not spamming he's not spamming the damage. He's letting he's not trying to speed up their death. He just wants to interrupt the capture and sit tight. Now he is spamming acid blast, which I don't agree with. I think uh, he was better Better just interrupting and not uh, really manage. He knew that he's got he's got good talent spot, I think. So he tried to not change it up again. Did somebody ask a question about the stream on Twitch? Oh, there it goes. <laughs> it passed too quickly for me to see. Thank you, Phil. For I got you. Forgot you got my back. Uh, Ooh, that noise is still uh, horrible. And Hydra does make it across. Almost perfect. Hydra's doing really well. The fact that they have been able to prevent Goliaths from countercapping without having to kill them is really good. And Rave picks up the second flag. So. Hydra's playing this really, really well right now. Sabian is out. Yeah, Sabian is out, and uh, Fresh as a Daisy. Zudum out as well. And now things are going to get start getting hairy again. Because I think Zudum's going to be able to clean up most of Hydra with the exception of Lay, but Lay is not going to be able to do anything to do them in return. The uh, Invokers are both just out gaining folks. Oh, Ray is yeah. left all alone. Okay, there we go. His teammate's there now. Sagamore's in there, huffing Zudum, trying to slow down the chains, absorb some of the damage with himself and his uh, army. But so Dave is continuing to get trained, and I don't know how many more of these he can take. I don't know why his team keeps 
breaking off. I'm not sure what's going on that um, that his team isn't just staying in the room with him. It could be that they're trying to secure a kill on another player, maybe. So that knowing that he's going to go down regardless, they can't save him. Susan so takes the dirt blind from Tatalis. That they're trying to focus down Sagan. Okay, so Talus does get a choke off on the Voodoo, but it'll slow down the damage for a little bit. Give Sagamore some uh, breathing room to heal himself up. I'm sorry, uh, for some breathing room to heal Rave up, rather. And it continues to focus on Sagamore. And Rave makes it across. Wow. Hydra has the 2 1 advantage here. That was an impressive. Uh, still in a precarious position because you know if they wipe at this point, it's easy to get two captures uh, from Rias. But if things continue to be hairy, you know I just got a real shot here. You know, it depend. You know Sabian and Turtsies are both low. Um, if they can. Get another cap and keep Zudum off of their carrier. They really have a shot to to close this game out here. Goliath is fighting hurt, so they are pretty vulnerable at the moment. Okay. There's a you know, like being. Um. Sabian's trying to deal with... Uh, Sabian misses Lay with the eye rake. Round on Lariat. So, no more rake for 10 minutes. And Lay is AMS, so he's taking some uh, heavy damage from Sabian here. But he should be able to flee out and... <laughs> He needs to. He needs to not let them keep getting on him like this, though. Um, everybody is wimpying so much. <laughs> Tursis is wimpying. Iraq is wimpying. Sabian is wimpying. Um, it's like we're 15 minutes into a match or something. It's crazy. <laughs> or however long it's been. 30. 30 minutes. Um, Rave quaffs a double AOE. Gourd that does not connect with anybody. A little awkward. Zudum is switching over to direct damage, which I uh, think is nice. Iraq is uh, throwing out the group blind. So Talos takes a smite blind, and that's really clutch. That's going to keep him from staying on target. And Sagamore is taking a lot of damage here, unsanked. He's, he's spent way too long unsanked over the course of this match. He's been slow to sank up when he's gotten dispelled. He's been slow to resank. Uh, Zudum is that uh, Leolat refreshes his MS. Zudum keeps accidentally training, training his own team. <laughs> I mean, that's just invoker things. Yeah. Hashtag invoker things. I think in that. I think it's a lack of patience, honestly. I think they they need to pick their targets a little stronger. Interesting. Do you agree, uh, Philip? Uh, I think when it's hectic, it's bound to happen uh, at times. Obviously, you want to minimize how often it happens, but every invert, like every chaining mage is going to chain their teammates at some point. It's just too much is going on, and Sabian does go down. Uh, Lay, it's an off toast, though. Lay is very injured himself. But an invoker can do a lot of damage from this position where everybody else is injured as well. Elok goes down. So Hydra looks like they could clean up Goliath and close this game out right now. What a shocker that would be. Uh, Lay does die. So Tarsis is still in it. Zudum is still in it. Zudum has the flag. He did pick it up, yeah. Yeah, and he's uh, only in the yellow, so he's still got a big pool of hit points. Can 
Hydra, kill Terces, and then dogpile Zudum in time is going to be the question. Terces gets spit blind. And there's Rave. Going for the flag, it looks like. I like this from him. Uh, just You're kind of on a clock. Nope, he's decided not to... Not to take the flag. Sagamore is going to pick it up instead. Okay. Uh, I think that's a better choice. All right. And Satalis strangles Terces, uh, but Terces is right back up. Uh, Rave woke him up. And Satalis goes down. Zudum is still very healthy, and that was the damage dealer that Hydra needed to actually deal with Zudum. Yeah. Zudum can lock Sagamore into combat here and just... That said, uh, Rave can potentially slow him down, like, uh, slow Gordon, and that will neuter how much Zudum can do in response. This is kind of exactly where Zudum wants to be in some regards. Um, I don't know that I'd be super comfortable being basically alone against the Warlock that can spam slow gourds on me. But I don't think he's in a terrible position. I don't think so either. I, guess, I think he's in a good position, but it's still just not a super comfortable one, I don't think. It's, it's flag carrier versus flag carrier. They're locked together in combat unless they wrap you out and walk away. <laughs> um, yeah, he's, he should be able to kill Sagramore here. Yeah, Zudum wins this fight, I think, if, it, if he's not helped. Uh, Rave just threw a gourd at Sagramore. I'm not sure... <laughs> I'm not sure what he just threw on him. He just gave him a chain post. So that was, was it a withstand death, maybe? Uh, he threw a withstand death on his teammate? Well, he just had it pop on himself. He might have. Yeah, they're just not, they're not doing anything to Zudum. They're not getting any damage through his defenses, really. He just... I get, he doesn't get into red, but that's still a lot of health. Yeah, he's probably still got 800 or more health. And there's a rescue on the back. Okay, they're just try and, try and walk away. Yeah. Um, Tercey is still alive. Yeah. Tercey seems to go stand next to his flight carrier and drop some crazy fight. And I left it all. He's going to focus on Fagner more and try to finish him off. Sapien is out. Sapien, that's. Uh, Rock is out as well. So I think that's going to. Uh, GG. I think there's still time. Uh, Dry still has to run the next flag across. So they're going to kill Sagramore here. I don't think there's any doubt about that. Yeah. But um, I don't know that the door is shut on Hydra just yet. I think Hydra's going to have time for their people to get out and to continue to make a game of it as Goliath's just trying to get their third capture. Uh, there it's out. So we might see the see okay. damage even out here again. I really think the Lariat needs to be the damage. That would be the cap. Yep, that's the cap for Goliath. Now it's going to be on Lariat to delay for a while. And Lariat goes straight on the game. Yeah. And Zudum is AMS, so it's not doing anything to him except for preventing him from picking up the flag, which is all you need to do. He's doing some damage on Sabian, which will stack up over time, but I don't think it's going to be enough to... He just needs to be careful not to take too much damage. Talos is out. Just trying to... Um, okay, so Talos being out is great. That means he can flash and stall the game out even longer. Woohoo! Without Lair not having to spend all of his life just trying to stall. And Larry takes a bunch of damage there. They need to get out and then go back. Luda manages to pick up the flag. Wow. 
a heads up. Heads up grab. They're going to force them to kill him. Or simply lose. Yeah, and um, Hydra doesn't have a good option to carry the flag right now. Rave is way too hurt to be their flag, to be a counter capper, which means it basically is going to have to be Satalis to counter cap with a shield. And I don't know if he's, you know, we'll have to see if he is like mentally prepared to recognize that he has to carry the flag now. I, you have to either, I mean, even choking Zudem isn't going to be that effective because of Sabian. And Lei takes a smite blind. That's uh, pretty clutch. But he is on the right targets and just chaining away right now. So Can he's I? still able to do some good damage. But now he's fled out and now he's going to be basically useless for two more ticks. Can I ask a dumb question? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> So, obviously, I have not played many characters or classes, um, and I've not played a witch or a warlock. I understand that there are different advantages to the different elementals being a priest, but why make a cat over a raven? Um, so, cats and ravens are resistant to different things. Um, right, what ravens are, are weapon yeah. resist, and cats are magic resist. Oh, okay. In addition to that, uh, cats have the ability to trip, which is uh, potentially useful. Like if you see uh, Terses is not flying right now, Sabian mm -hmm. is not flying right now, okay. Goliath pulled the work, and Goliath does manage to get the flag across. Cool. Hydra really needed to find a counter cap there and could not find it. So uh, I need to bounce. Okay. But uh, good luck with the rest of the, uh, with the next match. It's going to be a doozy. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to stop recording, not stop streaming, just to give my computer a break, um, and I will...